someone shared this story with me and it literally made me lose my breath for a moment. This woman, Leslie, has this on public. I'm sure she wanted people to see this story and to see this man's name. Okay, so this is, now this is another long story. So bear with me, get you a beverage, go use the bathroom, whatever. This is a heart-dropping star story. Please listen to it. Yesterday afternoon, I was totally blindsided to learn that Michael Stapleton has been living a lie with me. He's been leading a bizarre double life. This was discovered by my own daughter, Haley, thank goodness she is 24 now, through a very random encounter on Twitter on the page band, uh, uh, on a page of a band Michael and I recently saw in concert at Red Rocks. I was telling her how great the show was and that she should try to catch them if they're ever in Georgia. So she ventured to their Twitter where she noticed a profile name, Juan Cruz, using Michael's photo had commented. And from there, she just more and more unfolded as her, her fiance, and my friends started to unravel a very disturbing web of this secret life of Michael's. Y'all see what I'm talking about. I won't go into great detail as it's so disgusting that many of the screenshots my own friends do not want to share with me. I'm glad for that as my heart is completely shattered right now. For the past three and a half years, Michael has ran a secret Twitter account where he pretended to be a, seek, a single man, but it gets worse. He pretended every single thing him and I did together, he was actually a single man. Every time we go to a concert or make a nice meal together, our garden or patio flowers, our home, paddle boarding with my dogs at the lake, even our special date nights and a relationship book we were reading together, he posted pictures of himself nearly nearly nude and looking for women on his secret Twitter account pretending he was a single man living in my home that I opened up to him he pretended it was his home his garden his flowers and oh how he wished he had some single girl to join him and based on the conversation he had as long as they were barely legal he'd love their company every special thing we shared together he had posted his single life version on Twitter okay you can read the bottom by yourself if you want the OnlyFans link opened to his subscribe for free page where he, where his bio offered everything from these kind of photos to looking for discreet hookups and has been very active for over two years. The words on this page about how bad he wanted these other women are so explicit and gross. If I posted them here, I'd get banned. One of my only friend one of my friends got into his OnlyFans account and what was found included everything from you guys oh, should read this um, for community violation sake. I'm not going to read all of this. Read some of it yourself. But there's so much more. I am absolutely devastated. I loved Michael with every piece of me. I opened my home to him. I took care of him. I gave him everything he ever wanted and more. I adored him. But apparently I wasn't enough. I have never felt so used in my life. He wanted what we had together, but he wanted it all without me in it. He wanted to be the man he was with me, but single and with other women. He wanted our beautiful life, but without me. Since February, when he took a work trip to Texas, which implies, um, which he implies on this secret Twitter that his company paid for a woman of the night for him, my gut has been waving a red flag. So her gut has been waving a red flag since February. <sighs> a month and a half ago, we almost separated after I was disturbed by his behavior toward me during conflict, but we decided to try to work things out and made a commitment to each other to listen to a really impactful relationship audiobook together. I thought we were doing really well. I was so happy we were making this time for each other and our relationship. My heart was so full. Yet on J July 27th, just some days ago, he posted this about this book on his secret Twitter. I had always be I had always viewed being needy, insecure, and wanting validation from someone as a weakness. But I've been reading a relationship book, not that I'm interested in getting back into a relationship, more curious about human nature. So he was basically shading her as she tried to find a relationship um, book to help them. That is terrible. Yeah, so he even had to post about that part of our life together and pretend he was single. What the actual F? Oh, and if you're wondering why he used the name Juan Cruz for his um, Twitter handle, it too has a special meaning to us as a couple. Okay, you guys could read all this. This is a whole lot. So 
she goes on um, she's going to be looking to get into I mean to get checked for STDs and all this you can read the rest of this um, this screenshot but there is more here's another part of the screenshot that I'm not going to read but you can read it still more the more I discover, the worse it gets. Today, I find out Michael has been leading this bizarre secret life since January 2020, over three and a half years. Three and a half years, to put that into perspective, he moved in with me October 2019 after dating for eight months. Within two months, this began. But he stayed with me, lied to my face every single day for over three and a half years, and would have stayed for who knows how long if he hadn't been caught. Our entire relationship was a fraud. Can you imagine? But wait, there's more. Michael is very angry at me for outing him. This morning, he sent me this text message. You are unbelievable. I cannot believe how you have resorted to fabricating a story that no longer exists. I have not doubled down on anything. That fantasy life is over, done, gone. Why do you want me bloodied? I'm beginning to believe that you never even cared about me at all. I was just a placeholder to fill a void in your life that you were always looking for me to be the bad guy so you can have an escape. Apparently, him stopping his fantasy life Friday night means that it no longer exists. I do not even know what, um, who this man is. I am just sick. So this is what gaslighting is. He blew up his whole relationship by lying to her the whole way. And now he's trying to place blame on her. This is narcissism. This is gaslighting. This is definitely a, um, a relationship tactic, a manipulation tactic. So obviously she has friends that are trying to be like, this is not your fault, dude. And they are all throughout her comments. She has the, the comments turned on to where only her friends can comment. I understand because I am sure that tons of people are going to her pages right now. So this is what they're saying. This is a perfect example of what gaslighting is. I'm so sorry. Um, and so that's that's what they're saying here. And in other comments, they were like, please just stop doing this search because she is doing a deep dive on this man. Now, let's see what this man looks like because once I got this, I started looking for his name too, especially since she gave his whole name. Y'all, this is Michael Stapleton. Michael Stapleton has the audacity and I am unsure where these people get this audacity, this level of audacity. This woman loves this man. She has... Yes, she has all kind of um, comments where she, and I'm sorry, posts, she uses his whole name. <laughs> but next week, Michael Stapleton and I have will have been together for two years. And this was last year in 2021. This poor lady, she really thought she was in a relationship with Michael Stapleton. Since Michael Stapleton moved to Northern Colorado, he is now 156 miles away from his barber. He was badly in need of a haircut. She She cut Michael Stapleton's hair for her, I mean for him. And this is how he repays her by acting like a single man in her home. This is another reason why, ladies, do not move these people in. Do not be the come up woman. Do not help them get their skills together because you could end up being in a relationship and he's just using your home as a backdrop for his um, Twitter account. Y'all jump in the comments. This was exhausting to read. Y'all let me know what you think. Please just let this be a cautionary tale.